So uh, the, the issue, of course, is when and how do we determine the beginning of Lent? And of course, it revolves around something in nature again, because <clears throat> Lent was determined by the first Christian Council of Bishops in 325. The reason for that gathering in the, in the city of Nicaea was that there was a false teaching that had arisen uh, by an Egyptian priest out of Alexandria by the name of Arius. And Arius taught, and he's a clever fellow, because he also used songs and poems to spread his teaching that Jesus, a great uh, even prophet, a great teacher, but was not divine, was not the son of God. And so a council was called, not by none other than the Roman Emperor Constantine, uh, in order to address the issue. It would take over 125 years um, before uh, that resulted in a creed that uh, Christians embraced called the Nicene uh, Constantinopolitan uh, Creed. At any rate, uh, they also set the uh, Feast of Easter. And so the determination was that Easter would be the Sunday after the first full moon, after the first day of spring. And so that is a movable feast, of course, since it's always on a Sunday. Uh, and there's a window since the pivot point is the first full moon. So we have 28 days that can spread uh, that uh, feast, uh, establishment of Easter and then the beginning of Lent. Uh, and so the, the spread, uh, we're fairly early with uh, October now, or excuse me, with February rather, uh, but uh, it can stretch uh, into uh, as late uh, as uh, end of March. At any rate, uh, so uh, we have uh, the primary holy day in the Catholic Christian calendar of Sunday. Uh, so there's 52 holy days um, uh, that that are observed as primary, and that's the Lord's Day of Resurrection in glory. Uh, so uh, even in Lent, Sunday retains its particular quality and character. So it is considered, even in Lent, the little Easter of each week. Therefore, if you look and made a uh, arithmetic count from uh, the uh, Ash Wednesday to Easter, you'd find 46 days, but okay. you don't count the Sundays. Very and good. as a result, the 40 days are still the preparation, the disposition for something to happen. The greatest feast day uh, that the Christians have, the Lord who had okay. suffered his passion and death, uh, rising in glory and uh, ascending uh, to that glory, opening heaven for us. So uh, from Lent uh, to the 40, uh, to the finding of Easter, and to uh, the lengthening of light in our minds and hearts in a new way since we've never been to Lent of 2020. There you have it. Father, that, that is really a, a <clears throat> terrific, uh, uh, broad overview, but it, it works out that timing sequence that has always been a mystery to so many of us. Uh, 